guys, welcome back to today's video. Today we're gonna to be talking about another reptile. We're gonna be going over day gecko care. Giant day geckos are beautiful reptiles that are actually not nocturnal. They are awake during the day and therefore require a little bit different care than your typical gecko. Giant day geckos can be found on the island of Madagascar. That is where they are originally from. However, now they're actually an invasive species to other regions such as Hawaii. But originally the only place that you could find them was Madagascar. They reach about 10 inches in length and can live for about 15 years. These geckos are less common than your crested geckos and your leopard geckos, but they are becoming increasingly more common in the trade. And now you can actually get them in morphs as well, where they do have um, more red on them or things like that. A good place to get a gecko is actually a reptile expo, where you can talk to the breeder or vendor directly. So let's first talk about the expectations for having a pet day gecko. These geckos are extremely delicate and are more of a viewing pet than anything else. If you're interested in a pet that you can handle and take out, you would be better off getting a leopard gecko or crested gecko or any of the many geckos that do well with handling. These geckos have very sensitive skin so you can easily pull it off if you grab them. So if you're looking for a beautiful display animal to put into an elaborate bioactive terrarium, day geckos are it. One gecko will do just fine on its own. Some people do actually house pairs together quite successfully, but if you just want to get one, it will be perfectly fine. You do want to provide them with a tall tank, so you're going to want to provide a 24 by 18 by 18 as the minimum size tank for them. And this is actually a perfect size tank and they'll do really well in there. Now these geckos are really quick, so I do recommend that you get the two doors instead of just the one door on the front of the tank. And this is because you don't want to have to end up chasing your gecko all over the room like I have done on multiple occasions. So in your tank, you do wanna have plenty of places for them to hide in and also places for them to lay out and bask. Now, ideally, you do want to have live plants inside your terrarium because these geckos do require a high humidity and live plants will definitely help with that. Now, of course, a bioactive tank is really the best thing that you can do for your reptile. So if you want more information on bioactive tanks, you want to learn exactly what that is or you want to learn how to build the perfect bioactive tank for your gecko, then be sure to check the iCard right here for that information. Now, for the tank, you will need a UV light as well as a plant light if you do decide to go with live plants. Now, unlike other geckos, day geckos do require a UV light. I use UV lights with all of my reptiles, but with day geckos, it is actually essential because in nature, they would actually bask out in the sun. So they do need UV lights in order to process calcium. Now in captivity where reptiles are not able to be exposed to natural sunlight, they do need a UV light because without this, they are going to develop metabolic bone disease. So don't think that you can put your cage next to the window or something like that. The rays that are needed in order to process the calcium are not going to pass through glass. So your humidity in the tank should be about 60%. Now you can actually make sure that this is right by using a humidity gauge inside your tank. Now the way that I maintain this humidity is by keeping live plants in the terrarium as well as spraying the cage with water twice a day. So it's super important to actually be missing your terrarium because these geckos are probably not going to learn to drink from a bowl of standing water. Now, unless you actually physically see your gecko drink from a bowl of water, you have to assume that they don't know how to do that. So the reason that you miss the tank twice a day is also to hydrate your reptile. This is the only time that they are going to drink water. When they see the droplets on the leaves and running down the side of the tank, that's when they actually go after water and drink it, as well as absorb the humidity through their skin. Now your day gecko will need two types of food, live insects and a fruit formula. So insects that I actually really like to use for geckos are crickets. And this is because they're able to just, you know, get around the whole tank and it really helps with their environmental stimulation and getting them active and hunting after those insects. Now, insects that are also great to provide for your reptile are dubia roaches, for example. Those are the most nutritious. You can also give them calcium worms, uh, wax worms. Uh, I don't recommend super worms because the geckos are actually really not that big and you don't really wanna give them anything bigger than their head. Now, my concern with this is that they probably can't actually crush a super worm um, to the point where it's not going to end up biting them inside. So I don't recommend super worms for them. Also, they have that super hard um, exoskeleton that you probably just don't want your gecko to try to 
be digesting. So there's a lot of better alternatives that you can actually provide for them. And you want to provide insects to them about twice a week. Now the other super important part of their diet is going to be their fruit formula. So you do want to offer this to them about twice a week. This is really easy to make. It comes in a powder form. Both insects and formula are essential to the gecko's diet. So if you can only provide one, then you're just not able to care for that animal. So make sure that if you do get a day gecko, that you are providing them with both the formula as well as the insects. This is what's gonna help your gecko stay nice and healthy and maintain a good weight. And they're also going to be encouraged to eat it because of the flavor and how it tastes. So it's really great for them. You can actually use this formula for other geckos as well, such as crescent geckos and gargoyle geckos, uh, lychees, as well as other ones like halmanarin geckos. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it. I do put out a lot of reptile videos. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!